Obi-Wan and Anakin start, you know, doing the whole Jedi thing. Obi-Wan trains him. Um, he runs into Padme. Okay. Now, they ran into each other back when he was nine, when Qui-Gon took him, because they were rescuing her. She was like a teenage queen, and he was nine. And she, he told her, I'm going to marry you one day. And she just laughed it off, saying, you're too young. So now, fast forward, where Anakin becomes an adolescent. He's in the 18, 19 year old range. Okay. They cross paths again. And Padme's like, oh, you're all grown up. Look at you, little Annie. Right? And, she, and he was still crushing on her. And they meet up and sparks fly. Right. So, so wait, that's an attachment figure. That's a positive one. She's a friendly one. But she's doing what most of us do, which is looking to love to fill our love bucket and for anakin it's super duper empty so something bad happens to padme that for sure would seal the deal okay, we don't know that yet though oh what's going oh, on i see, oh, huh? gotcha so obi-wan's still training him anakin like a lot of teenagers or one would think is you know i can do everything i'm good at everything i don't need to be corrected i can kick everyone's butt Obi-Wan is like, no, 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 let's slow it down. You're a Jedi in training. Maybe this way is better. And Anakin's like, no, 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 my way's better. Okay, so that's where a lot of adults get confused. So Obi-Wan is getting confused like a lot of adolescent parents do. This is not about lack of humility or egotistical or them telling you that they know better. It's about him. Well, remember, he needs control, power, and anger is his number one emotion right so that pretend that i'm strong that i know better it's actually covering up a feeling of not feeling good enough the other piece that is happening is that he's an adolescent and adolescents debate on a regular basis because their prefrontal cortex this front part of our brain that helps us get all the information needs debate so parents if you have an adolescent please debate with them just like obi-wan should have debated with him and let him have banter with him about being a jedi and then we wouldn't have this darth vader problem this is true, because then that leads us to him having a dream. In addition to high midichlorians and being a great pilot and very smart, he can foresee things. He dreams. He has visions. Mm -hmm. And he woke up from a dream where his mom was in pain. So he goes and he finds his mom. And he finds her um, in a hut in a Tuscan raider camp. She had been kidnapped. And she was hurting. She was in pain. And she dies in his arms. Oh gosh. So. so this is the wow, that is a big fat nail in the Darth Vader coffin. So speaking of anger right. and all that, guess what little Anakin, adolescent Anakin does? Oh, does he, he take He annihilates oh. the Tuscan oh, Raider. Cat. Revenge! I will make you feel how I feel. Okay. Right. That is the first foundation of Darth Vader for Anakin. Right? Because now he for sure knows that he cannot trust the world, that he cannot love anything because it dies in your arms. And we're saying he doesn't have any emotional intelligence. He only uses anger. He's seeking power. And now he's going to grief. And grieving takes a very, very long time. And I'm assuming that he doesn't really do it. He just, he and he's already showing us that he's making everybody else heal how he feels on the inside. Oh, he tells poor Padme. Darth Vader. Right. You, poor you guy. It. It yeah, better. I it's feel a good story. Okay, it's great. So he tells, he confides in Padme. Uh -huh. and Padme, you know, doesn't run, doesn't shun him. Padme stays, you know, and tries in her power to understand. So she so, tries to believe in him. and Because make, she does see. Turn the beast into a prince. Right. Yeah. But all this time where Obi-Wan's like, don't don't act on that anger don't act on the fear he is also speaking to who we know as chancellor palpatine oh. ah. what we don't know is that chancellor palpatine is actually the emperor palpatine Ooh, from back in the day that super the evil old, guy right yeah. all white with the black Creepy, robe, yeah right? uh -huh. who's also known as darth sidious ah. and darth sidious chancellor palpatine lets him know hey it's okay to act on that anger it's feel your feelings it's okay ah okay so two things obi-wan <clears throat> should have empathized with him and told him you are so angry because you're so sad look at all you've lost those three words would have kept us from having a darth vader 
Papa Dean, however, is doing something that adolescence needs, which is giving him an opportunity to risk take and to novelty seek, and also feeding into that piece of his anger and his power.